All right, here we go. So, I always thrive into becoming the best person in general when I do have a lot of stress. Now, if you don't know, I left my own country because I was just not really in a position to stay anymore. I, to, to cut that story short, I actually been tried to survive an attempted murder by a group of people and I learned it was intentional after I recovered because they didn't know even if, if I was alive. I had a horrible brain trauma, came to America fleeing my country because I was liability to my family. And for over the last decade, the board of California was like, Oh, your name is too, is too long, we cannot issue you, after I transferred my pharmacy degree, your name is too long, we cannot issue a license and all that, yada, yada, yada. I felt sorry for myself, and I've been in a worse position now than I was 10 years ago. What I figured out from that is, as a pharmacist, even working as an intern, watching pharmacists going through the same thing that I've been, that I'm trying to do, having that high blood pressure under a lot of stress and a lot of scrutiny from the board, from something that can take their livelihood and their way of making income a means to provide for the family. Internally, I think I did not attract that career to me. I always wanted something bigger, but the development of this, guys, is that you're witnessing me talking to you every day going through this hardship. This is something completely different. And I want to get the first message for the day, which we're going to be, you have to understand what patience mean to you. What patience mean to you? It means something different for all of us, but what patience mean to me is it is the opposite of frustration because when you're frustrated, you're not patient. What I didn't understand is when I'm trying to speed, when I'm driving, when I'm trying to like get things done faster, when I'm trying to be as fast as possible, it was coming from a mindset of lack, a mindset of frustration, a mindset of, I think I'm running out of time, I'm think what I asked or I wanted, I'm not getting what I want in the first place. Now, if you take a look at that and compare it to the patience, which is, doesn't matter how long it is, I have a belief, I have an abundance in what is coming. I have an abundance of where I'm going. Right now, I'm working two jobs, and from 6 a.m. to 11 or 12 p.m. One from 6 to 2, another one from 3 or 4 to like 10 or 11, sometimes 12. Now, I think God put me into this position because I thought that people who work a lot had no excuse. Now I'm going through this. I think I brought this up to myself. Like, uh, okay, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I'm going through the karma myself. And I'm understanding that it is a little more difficult than it could be done. But I'm always this dude. I walk that path. I took that, I bited that bullet, I felt sorry for myself, I did something dumb I shouldn't have done, and then at the end of the day, I'm starting even below scratch right now. So, what I'm trying to tell you is, you should have patience, and that patience would only come if you were able to do more. Be patient with the results, but do not be patient with what you can do every day. What I'm figuring out through this experience that not only that I'm required of me every day to work 8 to 16 to sometimes 18 hours a day, that during that time, even filming that video, I'm in between one job or another, and I'm doing a video that would take like 20 to 30 minutes to make, and I'm giving this for you because what I found out is my self-respect, my internal dialogue, my perspective to myself, how I'm patient and kind and giving more to whatever scenario or situation around me is never going to be hindered as long as I'm talking and helping other people. 
dude, you have to understand you will not be patient if you did not where were you going. You will not be patient if drugs or weed or alcohol, I can speak about this because I've done it all. I've been through the worst end of this. You do not want to quit on your own self. It is the worst thing that for an able-bodied human being to quit on themselves, to think that they can do less. I want to tell you, bro, my sister, you are destined for greatness. The only thing that is not allowing you to achieve that or thinking of yourself small or internal dialogue or conscious congruency or like you believing who you are by your action is you're not asking yourself to do more. So during out the time that you start your day, if you just woke up a little bit early, start small. If you just felt that you already achieved that wildest dream that you have no idea how you could go there. If you just started from a spot of, well, I've been trying my hardest, I've been trying my best, and nothing really is working out, but are you? Are you? You are working for someone else. That is just a fact, guys and girls. Let's just put this in our mindset. I'm talking to you as am I talking to myself, so that's not directed for anybody. This is to me talking to me, and you guys are able to learn and heal from that as well. I hope this can help a lot of people. Because my whole life has been eclectic. I had to leave my whole family at 25. I had to come here and transfer my degree as a pharmacist. I had to face another, another like racial and injustice way. My name is too long. We're not granted you the hours. You cannot take the Netflix. You cannot take your exam. You're like thrown out of wind. Nobody would hire intern, foreign graduate intern pharmacist. It's been one test after the other, one test after the other that it would just snap me to like, dude, is that really your best? Yes, you're working two jobs, but what are you doing with these two jobs? Like minimum, minimum payment jobs, guys. Like I'm living through the worst existence of anybody in America right now. I'm someone in debt. I'm someone having whatever you want to call it prejudice with my name with my license I'm not able to take my license I've been thriving for eight years trying to like surviving for eight years trying to do that and at the same time I'm working minimum age wage jobs two of them to keep a roof over my head I barely have time to breathe to work out to actually do this but what woke me up right now this time is Maybe I don't have time, that is the time, because your level up, your, you becoming better, your life will never give you the resources, the time, the health, the mindset, the ability, the equipment, and the people to achieve what you want. That is wishful thinking, learn from this, I have been through this, waiting for the right time, the right opportunity, the right everything, and I've done my best achieving whatever everybody's trying to achieve, which is go to school, get a medical degree, go to the board, they become super racist, they don't give you your license, and then you can go around and just feel sorry for yourself. That was, that was my decision. That was my story. Now I'm trying to relate this to you is, regardless what's going on, if you are not patient, and that is the first lesson I want to start with you, for you and for me first, that... It is because you're not in an abundance. You don't think there is something going to come to you. You don't believe you're going through your goal or like you're going through your outcomes. You're not in that feeling that I have already been there. I'm not, I don't want to be a millionaire. I want to be a billionaire. I already could have been a billionaire, if I, a millionaire if I got a license as a pharmacist. Couple of years, couple of investment, you become a millionaire. You know now why it stopped? Because I never saw anybody that's happy because that's not the dream or the goal that I wanted for myself to be locked on in a job. Bunch of little car and home and stuff like that. You're already like barely making ends meet. I did not want for that for myself and I did not understand. I did, I did not attract that in my life. Now life gave me another very interesting circumstances starting below scratch to understand what it takes to achieve what I wanted but I don't take that hardship as it is 
something that is, it is not fair. And that is what I want to relate again to our topic today, patience. Where is it coming from in someone in my position or even worse? It is coming from, I'm taking this hardship as it is teaching me a lesson about my own self, about trust and belief in God and the universe. It's the same thing, guys. We need to wake up. You cannot believe that you're alone. Like, you're not connected. You're not a person who, if you did something bad to others, not going to reflect on you. You can talk to any psychologist. They tell you about relationships and uh, optimal psychiatrist with a lot of experience, with a lot of clients. It's like nobody got away with anything. They, she screwed on her husband. She got like somebody scammed her. He did whatever to this person. He ended up in prison or in debt. Whatever happens, is like nobody gets away. Maybe we don't see it right away because it's not instant. And we're all weakening ourselves with this alcohol, with the drugs, with not a sober mindset to actually connect to who we are. We're not stopping that thought, which is, believe it or not, is a field. We're so distracted with whatever around us, we're forgetting to know who we are in the first place. And that is the whole idea. If you don't know who you are, why would you pay, be patient? Why would you allow yourself to have patience and believe in whatever is coming towards you? Right? So try to take understanding and who you are and where you want to be and have that undeniable belief. There is no way around that. You have to you got to have this undeniable belief. How we build that, I'm going to discuss that with you. This is going to be like a daily thing. It is more therapy for me because I have held on a lot of knowledge. And I thought that I had to present it to you in like a professional studio level so you guys would like in tune in. But what I didn't know that the message is more important than the whole facade on, on the video. If someone really God wanted to understand whatever is going through me and delivering this to you, he's going to, he or she going to find that to help them. Patience and persistence or patience, because that is the only lesson. We're going to take one subject today. Patience coming from that belief that you're getting what you wanted, that nothing really is stopping you. Now, Why? Because if I'm frustrated, if I'm rushing, that means I have a limited amount or a certain thing that I cannot really achieve. That's why I'm frustrated. Why you're frustrated? You wanted to find a better job, you didn't get it. What is the lesson? Why you're frustrated? How do you think people excel in anything in life? You think that if you want to excel in anything, it just handed to you? I got that. I ruined it. Because... I didn't understand the value, the lesson. Now I'm going through that lesson right now with you and I understand my lesson is to help you. My lesson is to teach you. My, because I'm kind of a researcher, I've been looking around for why it is existence because my own existence hasn't been normal. My own existence hasn't been to have a family. My own existence has been to be isolated, to be struck down with every freaking thing I try to do in my life, man. So I was almost going insane as like, why God? I blamed everything around me. I was the worst guy to actually talk to you about patience. I am in, impatient as it, as it could be, man. And the whole idea that I'm talking to you about this is I found my way towards it and that's why I'm trying to relate it to you. It is the belief that you are achieving or you are getting to where you want it to be. Doesn't matter how many hours I have to work a day. Doesn't matter I'm talking for over a year on this. I'm giving you guys information about health, about diet, about working out. Like you go to this channel, you go work out. If you just followed my workout, you're going to have the same body that I got for over 20 years of just working out naturally. If you just looked at my whatever food advice and nutrition advice I'm giving you, I tried to pretty much evade processed food, ate a whole food diet, mostly protein, 
and like high nutritious meals, beef, liver, whatever you want to add vegetables or not, but just understand the basics of running through your body. If you just try to do this 70%, you'll be in a way better place than 99% of people around you. And I thought the frustration for me was it has to be done today, everything. A channel has to be like 500,000. Everything has to come right now. And I was, no, it's not anymore. I believe it's happening. It doesn't matter if it takes one day. It doesn't matter if it takes one year. It doesn't matter. Whatever it takes, I'm here and I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep, keep doing it because that is the only thing that I found purpose in. That is the real belief that I'm going through to me, for me. That is what is going through my head. I believe where I'm going is already done. I have to do my daily steps and be smarter and do better. How can I understand that? Because I understood that you don't have a limit. The more anybody can sustain a level of operation. You can sustain a level of operation as a PhD, as a pharmacist, as whatever you want to be. And once you get comfortable at that level, you are not fulfilling your true self. So you feel you go on this self-destructive mechanism or spiral because yourself is supposed to always be learning. If you did not learn where you're at, you're going to keep circling down. It's either going up or down. The universe life is not in constant the only thing that is constant is change nothing can stay the same don't resist that so as long as chaos around you but you know where you're at or you have that belief and internal feeling that you already are there you have the most amount of patience because doesn't matter when it's going to come you already know it's going to come in the best time it could but could come you have that belief an undeniable belief that it's really it's really there, bro. I don't have to stress about it. I'm doing my absolute best and that is it. When you don't do your best, you always have that self-doubt, that negativity, that lack of em emotional fulfillment. But when you're, when you're doing your best, you're using every single waking hour to either provide for yourself to sustain your bare income and have a roof over your head and something to eat, or you are trying to follow your purpose every single waking hours, that is your best. You're not spending days watching podcasts and knowledge like you're hiding from something. There is no, it's, it's not a knowledge, my man. It is application. What do you feel deep inside your heart the life that you wanted, you know what's missing. Not even going to tell you. That's how it is for me and for everybody who achieved anything. It was always like this. I know what I was missing and that is why I was doing this. That is why I did this. That's why I'm going through this. The more I took it away, the more that belief, that lag, that emotional distance from where I wanted to go was happening. The more of self-lack and terminal you know, ill thought that you always have, the negative spiral that goes around you in your head by, your, by yourself, that feeling pity for yourself, all of that because you know, my man, my sister, my brother, that you are not fulfilling your best. You are not doing your best. Let me just put this in a, to wrap up this video about patience. We all are, in some way or another, afraid of movement or physical effort in some way or another. Either It's all physical, either hunger, movement, hardship, you know? But if you think about it, though, you're still when you're dead. You're part in the universe, which if you looked at every nucleus, every part of electromagnetic nucleus under the microscope, nothing stay the same. It's always shaking. So the universe granted you this vessel to be part of this whole creation and this experience, this journey to stay still and comfort this vessel and sleep and eat and indulge. What do you think the universe is going to be? It's like, oh, he's not moving. So let's just hit him with a different act. Let's hit him with a different 
fact. Let's try to understand that his, his way of thinking is not really where it's supposed to be or he's not really aware where he's supposed to be so life gonna give you so it's either gonna be weight gain it's either gonna be illness it's either gonna be something around your environment that is always gonna change it's gonna be like a horrific graphic description if things stay comfortable they get painful so you don't have to go through that you have to just you don't have to do it all the time every day right away you can start with trying to become this a little better at what you do do more ask more of yourself know where your absolute best is when you start to run when you start to do any sport when you start to drive nobody start as an expert at the first level and we're starting from level one just do a little bit five minutes ten minutes meditation five minutes towards ten minutes your goal that patient is going to come from incorporating, up, becoming that best self. Don't worry about what's happening or what's going to happen. Becoming your best self is where the key to patience is. Is where you get the belief, is where you get the awareness, and you're so patient around what's going around you because you know where you're going. Subscribe to this channel, guys. Hit me up on Instagram if you needed any help for coaching. God bless you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.